In Greece, we got stuck worse than in the thickest mud. It was very hard work to get out of this way of life, and it took us three days to get unstuck. We had to wash our bikes on the driveway, get euros served on the porch, beach restaurants served us souvlaki, stuffed octopus, and calamari. We even got a granny that helped us with the laundry and served us moussaka and usu. We evened out the biker burn and worked hard on that sea star formation. But with great teamwork we managed to get out of there. Good morning! So this morning we're up a bit early to uh, not, yeah, don't get the heat that we get in the middle of the day because we're going up to the highest point of this island, attempting to reach the summit at 1200 meters. It's quite a small island, so it's quite a high mountain for that size. Uh, Mr. Fan and Tony, uh, Seymour is staying in bed. We all have a bit of cough, but yeah, he's got a cold and, and uh, yeah, needs to rest it out. So we're going on the trails. <laughs> There's an asphalt road going all the way around the island, but once you go inland, it's full of hiking and off-road trails. And we wanted to take our bikes all the way up to the highest point of Mount Upsarion and the magic view up there. Channel 1 Alrighty! Alrighty then! Då gör vi ett försök på toppen. Här uppe har vi en liten by som vi kommer till nu. Anna, Anna, Gonda. När ska bröllopet stoppa? Kom och kör i den på bomba. Ja, vi säger väl så så till. Och det här är ju markerat som traktorstig. Så att det här är ju väldigt fint. Okej, det blir bara trevligare och trevligare utsikt. Mäktigt! Ja. Här går slangen upp. Är det till vattenfallet eller? För att fylla på. Ja. Där! Här har vi toppen! Ja men det var toppen du! Ska vi fortsätta hela ja. vägen eller? Ja, 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 ja. Det är klart. Vi kan inte sluta nu när vi är så nära. Nej. Alla, jag du skulle jag sänka skiten. Nu får jag lite problem här. Ska vi fortsätta upp höger där eller? Eller ska vi inte fortsätta upp? Ja, det är frågan vart den ska. Den där lilla bergslabben känns lite så där. Ja, det är det är det Men det kan vi ta. Här blir ju inte bra. Nej. Men helt okej okay utsikt. Det är fint. Här så. Going up to the very highest power point. All right, here you see around the entire island. Whoops! Ooh. There. Sorry, I'm in the view. 
this is the island. 36-37 grader. Och så kommer de med sublaki till oss som vi inte har beställt, bara bjud på. Och här har vi åtta katter nu som också vill vara med på kastet. Ja, hello kitty kitty. Hello kitty kitty.
Vi ser in bakom bilen här. Då har vi gränsen till Nordmakedonien här. Leaving Greece at the border was not a problem for anyone of us except Stefan. The policeman suddenly closed the window and started conferencing with his colleagues and they had a problem with this Swedish guy. Nordmakedonien, check. Inga problem. Visa pass. Stefan tog lite längre tid för att eh, det var någon eh, Interpol eftersökt person som hette Stefan Johansson som dök upp på en bild så då, de står där och pratade om det ett tag. Men sen såg de på bilden att den här eftersökta personen hade hår. Och det har inte jag. Jag har inte haft på jättelänge så det var inte jag. The typical border crossing, especially going between EU and non-EU, was you had to talk to customs and police on the country that you were leaving, then go a few hundred meters through no man's land, sort of, and then talk to the customs and the police of the country that you're entering. So, now we made it into North Macedonia. Macedonian side we were immediately greeted by two organ donors playing Tom Cruise. At this point we had our minds set on Albania so we didn't give North Macedonia a chance really, so we went directly to Lake Orid because it's beautiful and it's close to the Albanian border. Totally, Sweden, yes, back yes, to Sweden, totally. five weeks. Yeah. <laughs> we have Seymour. So today we're at Lake Orid, hard to see because of all the trees, in Macedonia. We uh, have yeah moved quite fast uh, and now we're staying one extra night because we're going over to Albania after this and there's a heavy rain weather coming from Albania over here so we're just waiting for that to pass because the asphalt here is like soap when it's wet we, you can hardly stand on your feet uh, and yeah riding is even harder so staying one extra night yeah checking the surroundings and uh, wait for the weather to pass hopefully it's quite uh, dynamic so you never know what you're gonna get yeah, so that's the plan. So we did some sightseeing in Orid and chilled for another day. Um, but now we were getting restless. But Albania would sort that out for us. And all of that in the next episode. So thanks for watching and see you again.